He has become famous for his outrageous roles and unique sense of humor. No, Kelly Clarkson! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the career of comedian Steve Carell. Born on August 16, 1962, in Concord, Massachusetts, Carell studied at Denison University in the hopes of becoming a radio broadcaster. However, he eventually found work with a theater company performing in musical comedies. During that time, he tried to break into television with a 1989 commercial for Brown's Chicken. But quite frankly, the response has been better than we'd anticipated. Despite a slow entry into film, which involved a small introductory role in 1991's Curly Sue, Carell's career-launching moment came when Stephen Colbert was chosen as his understudy in the Chicago stage troupe The Second City that same year. The pair subsequently became cast members on the short-lived 1996 sketch comedy series The Dana Carvey Show. This opportunity gave him the chance to flex his comedic muscle by voicing the part of Gary in the ambiguously gay duo. Who's up for charades? Yay! I did! Oh! All about Eve! Yes! Yay! How did he get that? In 1999, he became the outrageous correspondent of The Daily Show and got to take part in various wacky segments opposite Colbert. With a newfound prominence as a comedian, he set his sights on film acting with 2003's Bruce Almighty. <coughs> oh, my apologies. <clears throat> <clears throat> Interestingly, his supportive role of Evan Baxter later garnered its own dedicated sequel. Further turning the spotlight onto himself, he appeared as the hilarious and slow-witted Brick Tamland in 2004's Anchorman The Legend of Ron Burgundy. I don't know what we're yelling about! Despite his involvement in this high-profile Will Ferrell comedy, the movie that made him a Hollywood star was The 40-Year-Old Virgin. As a result of the enormous media buzz this film gathered, he was quickly cast in the lead role of Michael Scott on the American mockumentary series The Office. I declare bankruptcy! When not playing his dumbfounded office role, he continued to appear in various feature films. These included that of a bearded Frank Ginsberg in Little Miss Sunshine, the hilarious voiceover of Hammy in the animated feature Over the Hedge, and as the mayor of Whoville in the film adaptation of Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. Aside from his passion for voicing offbeat characters, Carell was also given several starring roles. These included the comedy drama Dan in Real Life and the imbecilic part of Maxwell Smart in 2008's update of the Bond spoof Get Smart. In 2010, Carell continued to make audiences laugh by appearing opposite Tina Fey in the comedy romp Date Night. God, no, he turned it sideways. Kill shot! That's a kill shot! And as the world's number two supervillain in the computer animated 3D feature Despicable Me. He is currently attached to star in the comedy Dinner for Schmucks and the remake of the 1967 Peter Sellers film The Bobo.